I'm back again, and about time too, and this time I'm in the mood. Welcome to another Japan Crate video now. For those of you who remember, I unsubscribed from this um, a couple of months ago to give some other crates a try, but I decided to come back to this because um, this actually happened to be probably the best crate um, I subscribed to. And also, between you and me, um, the Japan Crate videos I made had a lot of views. I think one of them had like... 3,000 or something views, which is fucking crazy. So I thought, you know what, let's give this another three months of trial. Now, as we can see, this is the premium edition of Japan Crit. Um, and on the side, as usual, there is their social media. There are the four steps to enlightenment. And that is the website, which I'll leave a link to in the, um, in the video description if you want to get one of these of your own. Um, and yeah, for those of you that don't know, this is like a random... Um, well, it's especially picked, but random to the customer um, item box every month. Sorry about that, the motorbike went by. Um, so yeah, it's a um, snack box thing with like themed um, snacks from Japan, basically, as you can guess from the name. So, as always, I'm going to reach in, grab the... Um, ooh, okay, this is January. I thought it was December for a second. This is the January um, booklet. Now, inside it has all the snacks and stuff. I'm not going to open it up. Because that'll give it away. Um, also, I'm not going to open the lid, because again, that'll give it away. I'm just going to kind of reach in, inside, have a look at each item, and um, we'll go from there. But, ooh, I see Doraemon. What the hell are these? That looks like Marburu Ga... Garmeg? Um, I'm not sure. It's a bit of a weird symbol. Um, yeah, these look like little orange sweet things. They sound like they're circular. Anyway, let's take a look at what the hell these are. Alright, I'm an idiot. The um, the last symbol was Mu, so Gamu. Marburu Gamu. Anyway, yeah, these are traditional Japanese uh, sweets. They're kind of gum that comes in a circular thing, and these are soda flavoured, so um, very nice. Alright, what will be the next item? Le Ooh, this feels familiar. I feel like I've had one of these before. This is Choco something. Oh, Mochi Choco. That says Choco. That is a rabbit with a hammer and a bag. And yeah, this is like a um, this is like a cake thing with like chocolate stuff inside, or maybe strawberry. That looks more red than brown, doesn't it? And yeah, it's a bit squishy. Obviously, you can't tell on camera. Anyway, let's check out exactly what this is. Will it be Mochi Choco? Yes, indeed, it is. Past me, it is indeed Mochi Choco almond. Um, it's apparently like a chocolate pie, is what it's known as. Um, I did notice though, it says almond, but there's no, there's no mention in this description of any almond stuff. It just says it's chocolate with chocolate filling. Um, I presume maybe they meant that it's almond filling? Maybe that's the red stuff? I'm not sure. But yeah, okay. Very, uh, I'm getting the sort of like feeling these are kind of traditionally kind of things. Uh, maybe that's the theme? Oh, we've got Hello Kitty. Um, and indeed, without even reading what that is, this is a marshmallow thing with some strawberry jam inside. Um, probably, because I've had something like this before. I think it's Winnie the Pooh last time. Um, but yeah, right, let's take a look at what exactly this is. This is Hello Kitty Chocolate Marshmallow. So I was wrong, it's not strawberry inside, it's chocolate apparently. And yeah, it says to have a bit, if you're feeling a bit peckish, have a nibble. I mean... I don't know if you could really nibble this marshmallow. <laughs> You'd probably eat it in one bite, surely. Also, it's a bit freezed a bit weirdly. This marshmallow is packaged with Japan's iconic Hello Kitty. It's not packaged with, it's a package featuring. Because Hello Kitty isn't inside... Oh, Jesus. I just realised. Hello Kitty is very white. So is that marshmallow. Oh, dear God. I've realised what the marshmallows are made out of. Quick, let's move on before... My mind lingers. Oh, it's another marshmallow, I think. A very, yeah, very squishy, massive, ma massive marshmallow. With the happiest looking ye yellow and white sweet thing I've ever seen. Big! This is big. Ooh. Kishiyuru? Kishiyura? I, I can't remember what that is. That's not Roo, is it? Kishiyu something. Big Kishu. Okay, cool. Let's let's see let's see why he's so happy. This is a big marshmallow. Uh, okay, I, so I don't know what the rest of that said. Maybe Kishu whatever is like marshmallow in Japanese. 
But yeah, it's like a fluffy piece of winter snow, except it's not cold and, you know, it, but yeah, some of the suggestions are interesting. Put it in hot cocoa. No, melt it on a s'more. Not a big fan of s'mores, actually, or eat it as it is. That's exactly what I'll be doing. Anyway, next up. Uh, oh, okay. Let's, ah, hang on, something else came out. Let's go for this. Oh, yo, is that Kamen Rider? Maybe. I don't think it's Ultraman. It must be Kamen Rider. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's Ultraman. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, okay, it's Ultraman. Because uh, Ultra Roman. Ultraman, I, I can't be asked to read what that says. But there's, there's something inside, or maybe that's the flavour. Um, sa. Okay, I, I, I took a minute to read that. I still can't quite make out what it says because it's quite small. Anyway, yeah, so these are like. It must be a plum lollipop or something. Um, I've not seen these versions of Ultraman, but they're looking really cool. Admittedly, I've only watched one season of Ultraman, and that's Gaia. Anyway, BRB. Okay, so this is Ultraman candy. Very specific. Fire or ice? Um, and yeah, this is a um, grape flavour lolly. And the two on the front are Ultraman Rosso and Ultraman Bull. So I'm not, I'm not sure. Like, I presume that's the newest Ultraman series. Admittedly, as I mentioned, I've seen Gaia, which is from, like, the mid-90s or something. Um, yeah, Ultraman is a series I always, like, mean to sit down and really go through. Um, obviously, you know, there's, like, 50 episodes in each one, and... Yeah, it's... Uh, I hear Ultraman Orb is pretty good. I think that's on my list of things to watch. Um, but, yeah... That's, that's actually kind of cool. Um, don't see Ultraman on many things, like in snack boxes anyway. Next up is the big one I went to grab. Ooh. Um, oh, is it? Is it the, oh, right, yeah, okay, there we are. It's a Japanese woman in a kimono. Uh, ooh, wait a second. Have I had these before? No, I don't think I have. But there's cherry on them. Cherry blossom, sakura like sakura stuff maybe um i don't know they're really hard actually i thought they'd be like um squishy like cherry things because that's where i've had some squishy cherry um sweets before from one of these but i may be wrong and there's a policeman is that a policeman i think it is is he a different flavor um yeah okay not sure what this is and let's find out all right so this is a small plum bag which also sounds like some Cockney rhyming slang. Um, yeah, these candies are made of Japanese plums and have a history of over 40 years. It's well known for its packaging featuring Komume-chan uh, from the Meiji area. I area? Era. So yeah, very nice. Um, as I said, there's like there's a bit of a theme going on for sort of like historic Japanese snacks, which is kind of cool because like it's the end of the year. It's starting to like reflect and stuff like that. Ooh, and talking about reflection, we've got Toga Demaru, Rock Ruff, and Pikachu on something. Um, is that chocolate? Hmm, maybe. It feels kind of hard and like a piece is snapped off, but the other two are uh, joined together. Yeah, that's the Pokemon logo and stuff. Oh, this is gum. Uh, Pokemon gum is what that says, or Pokemon Gamu. Um... Yeah, lovely. Okay, I'm gonna guess this is strawberry flavor gum. Okay, I was wrong. So this is Pokemon Sun and Moon gum, but it's grape flavor, not a strawberry. And yeah, each pack has different Pokemon on. So as you can see there, the one shown is the um, three starters from Alola, Litten, uh, Poplio, and Rolit. But as I said, I have different ones on mine. Although actually, I I prefer these. I think because Togedemaru is really cute. Yeah, nice. Little uh, little bit of gum, you know. Can't can't really go wrong with gum. Ooh, what the hell is is this a pipe? Wow, that's a pipe. Okay. Sweet shaped like a pipe. Wow, they'd never sell those in Britain. It'd be massive outrage and the person would be arrested or something. Okay, <laughs> interesting. So Oh like gummy uh, well not gummy, they're like candy bowl things, aren't they? So I assume this has actually worked as a whistle as well, because it's like hollowed out a bit by there. And there's a top. Wow. Okay, so kind of like a toy and candy in one, I guess. Let's see what the hell this is about then. So this apparently is pipe chocolate. This chocolate comes in a fun pipe-like packaging. It also doubles as a whistle. So, yeah, it's chocolate, apparently. Like, these look like, you know, the kind of... 
slightly cheap candy you used to get with like toys and stuff. Um, I remember some Pokeballs used to come in there. You get like a, a little Pokemon and some really cheap candy that looked exactly like that. But that's chocolate apparently. That's great actually because I do notice that whilst I like chewy kind of um, fruity candy you don't get quite as much chocolate thing. I guess because it's sent in the post isn't it? That would kind of melt a bit. Yo, what is this? Um, ooh, okay, wait, which way up is... Ah, it's that way, okay. Oh no, something. Is that kanji? Because that's not ho, is it? Oh no, ho? Um, that sounds a bit like another word that you don't want to look into. Um, right, okay, let's see what this is then. Right, okay, so these are Dagashi Shop Candy. They're, um, Sort of like the kind of standard traditional um, bits of sugar, basically, kind of like candy you'd find in the gashi uh, sweet shops in Japan. Apparently, these come in a variety of flavors: a ramune, cola, mandarin, grape, lemon, and peach. Uh, we'll have a look in a second at what we got then. Although, again, the 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 wording's a little bit off here. The gashi, a classic Japanese candy, that have often been around for decades. They've often been around for decades. They either have or they haven't. They've... What? Um, right, okay. So what flavour did we get? I can't work it out. Was that peach? Maybe it's peach or is that strawberry? It's very pink. Um, yeah, it doesn't really say. I mean, it probably does somewhere. I just can't be asked to read it because the print's very small. And I don't have all day. Um, ooh, yo. Are these Koyeka Pride Potato? Oh, Koyeka Pride Potato. I'm I'm sure we had some of those a couple months ago. Uh, maybe my last one, I think. And I think it was like the um, the cheese ones. They were really nice, actually. Very, very cheesy. So, um, I don't know what these taste of. But, you know, we'll have a look. Um, yeah, very nice. Uh, these are like quite traditional uh, chips, I think. Potato chips. Right, let's have a look. Alright, so these are Koyeka Pride Potato Kyoto Fried White Soy Sauce. Uh, to give you a rundown of this paragraph, basically, it's a um, it's a way of cooking from like the, um, the Kapo tradition that uses uh, white soy sauce, which is actually made from uh, wheat. And as like a sweet taste or whatever, it's suggested that you eat these um, with green onions, bonito and ginger. Only thing is, I hate ginger. Like, I don't know what bonito is either. I'll eat it with fried green onions, I suppose, or something. Or I'll probably just eat them alone, to be honest, because I'll have forgotten what flavour they are by the time I get around to eating them. Ooh, I think I feel some high chew. I believe these are high chew. Are they orange? I think that. I think they're orange. What the hell is going on there? What is that? Oh, are these um, apricots or something? Uh, yeah, okay. Interesting. It's on the back. Oh, it goes out in 2019. There we are. We are lucky because we are mere days away from 2019. By the time this goes up, I imagine um, it'll be 2019, actually. Let's see. Okay, so these are per persimmons, Haichu. First one, a sweet and soft fruit, commonly served in winter, apparently. Um, and yeah, these are apparently like New Year's traditions or something. They're also the bonus item in this month's great. Um, yeah, I can't say I've ever tried persimmon. Um, but, you know, it's it's nice that... Uh, I mean, I, I love haichu. Like, I really do. So I'm happy to try any flavour. And yeah, these do seem like a limited edition kind of thing, which is always nice. Right, Ooh. Let us grab ducks. That's a duck. Oh, I think this is like a DIY um, food thing. Yeah, okay, interesting. So those are the steps there. Now, I believe um, in the instruction booklet thing that comes with it, it actually gives you the steps, which is handy because it's kind of tiny. And uh, I think it's all written in Kana, but... That would take me a while to translate and stuff, because uh, I can read Kana, I can't read Japanese, as in I don't know the language. Anyway, let's take a look at what this is. 
So this is called Sleeping Grape DIY and those are the steps to follow. Um, <laughs> doesn't really explain what it is but clearly it's grape flavour. Why is it called Sleeping Grape? Why is there a duck there? What? Okay, cool. Right, <laughs> let's move on and not dwell on that too much. Uh, ooh, it feels like there's just big things left. So, are these uh, pancakey things? I think they are. Hot to cakey. Hot, oh, hot cake, it says there. Okay then, well done me. Maple something. Mepuru Robu. Maple rub? Is maple rub the name of it? What? That doesn't sound right. Hang on, let's check out what these are then. Okay, so these are maple hot cakes. And yeah, they're apparently um, hot cakes that have maple syrup cream inside. Um, I clearly misread something then, but um, yeah, ma maple syrup is very nice. Um, ooh, 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 octopus. Fish? No, is that not? Oh, sorry, I thought that was an octopus. It's a fish. It's a carp? Red carp. Um, fish. Ooh, these feel like crackers, maybe? Ooh, is that in the shape? I think that's the shape of a fish, because it, like, goes round like that, and... Hmm, okay, let's see what these are. Okay, so this is Puku Puku taya uh, Taiyaki. It's apparently a... Taiyaki is a street food that's, um... It's shaped like a fish and filled with sweet red beans, but this one is filled with chocolate, airy chocolate. So kind of like, um, oh, I can't think of the name of the chocolate now, but Aero, that's the one, Aero, that's like all bubbly and light and stuff. Uh, right, let's, you know what, let's grab the drink. Ooh, yo, what? What? Cool, okay. So it's a cola bottle. Coca-Cola, but it's metal. All of this is metal. Wow, that's that's actually really cool. Original taste, 2019. Oh, are these the lim... So I think in Japan they do like limited edition bottles or whatever. They're like... Yeah, there we are, like special edition, obviously. Um, yeah, they like do them for the new year and stuff and like people collect them, I guess. And that's really cool because obviously you can unscrew... And it's a bit lightweight. Um, right, original taste. So I presume it is just Coca-Cola, but in a really pretty bottle. Right, let me just double check. All right, so this is the limited edition Cola Slim bottle. And yeah, as I said, um, since the 100th year anniversary of Cola, Japan have done a yearly thing where their bottles are like limited edition. So um, so yeah, this is like, it, it's, it is basically just Coke. But the bottle's really nice. Like, look at that. Admittedly, I don't really collect bottles. But, you know, it's actually kind of cool to keep around. Maybe. Or find a bottle fanatic. Or a Coke fanatic. Like, as in Coca-Cola fanatic. Not, um, not the harmful kind. Ooh. <laughs> we have someone in a... Sort of a knockoff looking Luffy. Frito-Lay. Um, oh, the Doritos, basically, then. Ooh, stew-flavoured Doritos. Kondoreshima. I don't know. I probably read that horribly wrong. Who is that man in the straw hat? And will he one day be king of the pirates? What? Oh, yo, do you put veg in here and, like, mix it up or something? Do you put this with a salad? That's an interesting one. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, because they're all... Ooh! Do you, like, make a salad or stew or something? Oh, yo, i got to check what this is. Okay, so these are corn chips dressing flavour, and apparently Frito-Lay and Kraft have partnered up, and these are um, Parmesan uh, Caesar dressing. I don't know what the hell that is, like, Caesar salad dressing, but Parmesan cheese or something? Try them as is, or topped, um, chopped atop a salad. Chopped atop a salad? Who the hell chops corn chips? Um, <laughs> but yeah, okay. Very interesting one. Very, uh, very Japanese, to be fair. And I believe this is our last one. We have a big box of po poi. Poi something. 
and it's strawberry balls of something. Uh, yeah. Oh, hang on, wait, it says there, Lottie Chocolate Pie. Ooh, so is this actually a chocolate pie? Okay, let's see. So these are fully ripe strawberry Genji pie. They're flaky pies made of 64 layers of crispy pastry and filled with strawberry cream. You can try it toasted and warm for a delectable winter treat. You know what, I might actually. That sounds delicious. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, chocolate pie. Ah, there we are, so that's the microwave there. Ah, I think there are smaller ones like or something. Let's just check. I believe that is everything. Now, I did notice earlier on, um, and I guess it just never arrived, maybe, but there is one piece gum, apparently. Um, yeah, apparently grape flavoured gum. Um, I, <laughs> I guess I just wasn't a good boy this year, and Japanese Santa didn't pack that for me. Um, don't think so, anyway. No, okay. Well, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I imagine it'd been a small bit of gum. Right, um, as always, I'm going to arrange them in a nice uh, order and I'll be right back. Hey, guess who found some One Piece gum? It must have, like, come out on top of another box or something. But yeah, um, I have Nami, which arguably is even better than Luffy, because Luffy's cool, but, you know, Nami's got those really big... All right, and so here's a lovely look at everything. Um, yeah, this has been a very good crate, actually. Um, you know, a nice introduction back. We've had a few traditional kind of things. Um, a few interesting things as well, like the Frito-Lay thing that you can put on a salad is really interesting. The um, pie that you can warm up, again, very interesting. And yeah, we've had a few um, nice little surprises as well. We've had um, a few themed things this month. We've had Doraemon, we've had Pikachu, uh, Pokemon, we've had Ultraman, um, and we had One Piece. So yeah, overall very nice. And honestly, that, um, that Coca-Cola thing alone is probably worth a fair bit because you know there are collectors out there and stuff it's really nice that they do that and yeah so overall very very pleased i shall be doing another two months of these um as last time and then we'll see maybe i'll go on to something else again who knows i'm unpredictable like that and anyway thank you very much for watching if you do want to watch some of my older japan create things then i'll put a playlist there and a subscribe button there and a random video there and until next time Goodbye.